All right, let's go. So once you start indicting your political opponents, you know that you have to win or else they're going to indict you if they win, right? Right. And so they can't lose. They will do anything to win. So how do they do that? They're not going to do COVID again. I know everyone on the right is afraid they're going to do COVID and mask mandate. They're not going to do that. They can't do that. If they've already been exposed, that won't work. <clears throat> it's not going to help you, Canadian prepper. Nuclear war, survival skills, 2002 addition. You got the nerve to say addition? It's not going to save you, Canadian prepper. All right? All the skills in the world. It's not going to save you from that nuclear thermal destruction that's coming to Babylon the Great. And if you're in Canada... Guess what? Them chariots going to come over there and that fire might go over there and melt some of that ice. It's not too far you're going to go because if you're not part of the elect and that's what we're praying that we're part of. All the tactics, all the survival skills, you're not going to escape the wrath of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Call all y'all about Shem Yaw Shai. It's another one through the Spirit. Lord willing, you edify. All right. Double honors to my teachers, the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom, brothers. Listen. It's going to be. Now, what are they going to do? They're going to go to war with Russia. That's what they're going to do. There will be a hot war between the United States and Russia in the next year. So if you're worried about that, you need to put as much pressure as you possibly can on the Republican. All right, so I realize that's days old news, the Tucker interview, but bears repeating, I'm glad that people are finally coming to terms with the situation. And uh, I can only imagine how many thousands of people were chastising us for the longest time for being sensational about this topic. Now one of their gurus is finally talking about it. So, hey, I won't hold it against you. Just please get prepared for what is coming. Now, we got a litany of information to share with you today. I'm just going to rattle it all off. But before I say that, I got to say, guys, people always talk about when is World War III going to start. There's not going to be any official demarcation until the thing is done. And that is the problem. You don't go into a movie and say that the movie hasn't started yet because you're not at the climax of the movie. Okay, typically the movie starts, about an hour or so goes by, and then you approach the climax and the movie ends. Okay, the World War III is here. This is World War III. There is an agglomerate. <clears throat> yeah, and he's not lying about that one. You know, World War III, it's already in motion. All right, there's been uh, America, Babylon the Great already declared war against Russia by assisting and aiding Ukraine with uh, 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 weapons, tanks, they already declare war, all right? So he's right about that, but it's going to, the Heavenly Father, Yahabat Shem Shai, is going to climax, he's going to stir this up where he's going to Put in the minds and the spirit of these leaders like Putin and, uh, uh, you know, these leaders to push that button. And that's when the nukes are going to go up. And this is coming. This is coming. Revelation. Where is that? Oh, man. Let me just get it. I just had it. I don't know where they just went. Bear with me. All right. World War Three is inevitable. It's coming. What's that? 11 and 14. Bear with me. I don't know why this acting up. Stoop. Salaki brothers. All right. Here we go. The second war is passed, and behold, the third war cometh quickly. And that's what we're approaching. Conglomeration of strategic forces.
from all belligerents in this conflict right now in Eastern Europe as we speak today. So, with that in mind, understand that it wasn't until midway through the Second World War when people started to, it became commonplace to refer to the current conflict that they were in as World War II. In fact, right, well, after the Great the War, of course, Let's get to the good part. actually, no, scrap that, because peop some people are just going to be complacent and succumb to the normalcy bias until the bitter end. And for you, there's no help. I can only just hope you are trying to save face and you're still trolling in the comment section, but you're secretly prepping. That's typically how it is with people who come on the channel and hate on preppers. Typically, that's what you do in the first phase of becoming... Again, man, you know, you can prep up all you want, but if you're in Babylon the Great, you're going to be destroyed. That's it. A prepper because you realize, oh shit, I'm totally unprepared. And even before that, Jacob's trouble, you know, the Heavenly Father's actually, you know, a lot, of, a lot of you preppers, man, you're wicked. You know, you live the sinful life or you're not part of the elect. The Lord is going to make you to prep up. Just like that movie, I always say it, uh, uh, The Road. With that, with the father and the son, actually found a hidden bunker type under the house, and it was just food everywhere. You know, the the prepper, it was a prep of doomsday prepper, just like Canadian prepper. You know, in the movie, he prepped up. It was hella food, hella canned goods. They had all types of stuff down there, but the prepper wasn't around. He was gone. They probably ate his ass up in a movie because it was committing cannibalism. It was all hell. And that's what's going to come here. Like that movie, The Road, is going to be a very dark time. We're going to need Yah by Shem And the angels. And, um, and that's what he's going to do to a lot of these preppers. You know, matter of fact, I think, I think, I think that's Proverbs. <sighs> I think that's Proverbs 10 and 3, maybe. Let me see. Proverbs 10... Charges away, profit for nothing. I mean, the Lord will not sell us our rights. Yeah, yeah. Proverbs 10 and 3. Here it goes. The Lord Yahweh would not suffer the soul of the righteous to famish. You know, that word famish is to starve. You know? You know, the Lord is going to make sure that the righteous, the elect, you know, the uh, one-third women, children, whoever the Lord is going to have mercy in that day, He's going to make sure they don't famish. They don't starve. They, the Lord, we don't know how the Heavenly Father is going to do it. But guess what? We believe through faith and the scriptures that he's going to do it. Because the scripture says it. All right? And we believe it. The Lord, will not, the Lord Yahweh will not suffer the soul of the righteous to famish. But, listen to this. But he casteth away the substance of the wicked. <laughs> so yeah, man. A lot of you wicked ass preppers, man. The Lord's gonna have you prep up this whole time. Flashlights, batteries, blankets, and anti antibiotics, uh, generators, gas, water, food, canned goods, slippers, whatever, candles. You know, you're gonna do all that, and the Lord's gonna make sure he, you know. He bring judgment upon you for whatever reason. And then the elect is going to stumble up upon it. The elect going to find it. Going to be the angel. They're going to guide you there. They might just call. You know, you have brothers. You have brothers. You know, in, a, in, a, in a, you have brothers in the truth already have dreams and testimonies about, you know, seeing angels, you know, picking them up in vans, telling them to come in and taking them to certain areas where other brothers were eating and drinking. I had dreams where the angel guided me to like a big ass BJ's and he told me to get everything I want and the refrigerator was full of food and all types of stuff, man. Come on, man. So the Lord shows those visions. That's going to happen. The scriptures don't lie. You know, let's listen a little bit more. Prepared, and in order to justify your lack of preparedness, you try to rationalize why prepping is stupid. Well, slowly, gradually, you become a prepper in the shadows, and all of a sudden, you're a prepping YouTuber. Hmm, maybe I speak from experience there. 
Abrams tanks by September. Ukraine striking all manner of targets within Russia, and it's only ratcheting up by the day. The Chechen leader Kadyrov has threatened the West. Kadyrov, as he's called, Putin's pit bull. He's the guy who Putin keeps around to keep everybody in line. You need those die-hard religious folks, the ride or dies, in order to keep all of your generals in line. After the Serevikin and the Prigozhin uh, collusion or whatever it was, however Serevikin was implied in that uh, attempted coup, you know, Putin comes out with a picture of his hand on Kadyrov's shoulder. As sickly as Kadyrov looked, he knows that Kadyrov controls 70,000 Chechens who will keep the rest of the military in line and if he needed, possibly start to or for sure, he says, either in Europe or in Asia, Americans say very honestly and pragmatically, this poses no threat to us. These people are ready, he says, to take the world to its grave along with themselves. For that reason, Tucker Carlson's arguments sound like a self-fulfilling prophecy. Elise. Now so, you know, if you want, you know, the point is, you know, Let's just play real quick. So damn commercials. God damn, I hate these commercials. Oh. Man. How'd you <laughs> Yeah. Kayak? They compared hundreds of travel sites to find a great deal on my flight, car, and hotel. Kayak. Search one and done. And he lets Tucker talk here. I'm just going to skip ahead because we already just listened to this. Who says that? He says, a dead man walking. Tucker is a dead man walking, he says. A dead man walking. He sincerely believes that the next step after the accusations and the declaration of impeachment will be an assassination of Trump. But this man, who is currently the most popular English-speaking journalist, and that pretty much is true no matter how the uh, legacy media tries to suppress that fact, I'm not saying that there is not a that the mainstream still doesn't have the dominant market share in that space when you add up all of their talking heads. But talk. Yeah, Canadian prepper, come on, man, you talk too much. In other words, if you listen to the whole thing, as you see, breaking news: nuclear forces put on high alert. You know, there's nuclear missiles already being deployed. You know, the silos, the tanks, the subs, everything's being prepared, man. This thing is going down, man. It's going down, man. And uh, we're going to bring them back again to explain the difference between these things because, I mean, we're just on a, a clear escalatory pathway towards nuclear fucking war. I mean, it, it's crazy, man. It's absolutely <laughs> crazy. It's not crazy, man. It's what Yahweh Shem Yahshai wants. All right, and the Heavenly Father is, is playing the pieces together. And he's going to destroy, he's going to use one nation and destroy one nation. That he always done. He's going to, Babylon the Great will be destroyed by Gog and Magog and all the other uh, uh, nations. And those that were in, was in peace with you, your allies, like Obadiah speaks about. You know, lay the wound on you. You whore, you're going to burn for the wickedness. You, and, and that's what's coming. And we have to accept that. That's the bitter truth. And we pray, Yahab Hashem, Yahshah, have mercy on us, man. So, yeah, man. Hey, it's just one more day, stepper, closer to uh, World War Three. You know, the Karagma got to come. So they're going to sneak that in there. They're going to throw a monkey wrench in the midst of World War. They're gonna, it's coming. That's coming because... If you notice, that's what's playing along with World War III. The UFOs, the Karagma, and World War III. The big topic, you got, this, you got the chariots everywhere. You got this AI technology, this technology and that they're preparing, the CBDC and the banks being in real estate and uh, the de-dollaration. You see that's playing out at the same time where the bricks are coming together. That's all playing out together according to, to the Lord's plan, prophecy. So that's going to be thrown out there. You know, this man is going to create a, a, a false flag terrorist attack, whatever. I don't know. But he's the devil. 
and it's coming. Call all Yahabashim Yahshavah. Yahabashim Yahshavah. Shalom, brothers.